How's it going everyone? Matt Roberts from Salt Lake City Bookkeeping. Today I'm going to do a quick video demonstration on how to write off bad debt in QuickBooks. I'm going to show you how to set up the expense account and the item for the bad debt, create a credit memo for the customer for which you need to write off the bad debt, offset the credit memo against the invoice, and I'm going to give you one alternative method for that. So if we switch over to our sample company here, Vandalay Industries, the first thing we'll do is set up the bad debt expense account by going to the chart of accounts, creating a new account, and we wanna have it be an expense account that we're gonna call bad debt expense, or just bad debt. Once that's set up, you now need to set up a bad debt item for invoicing and link it to that bad debt expense accounts. So again, the list, item list, Let's create a new item. I like to use other charge for this one. Give it a name of bad debt write off. And link it over here to bad debt expense that you just set up. I would leave the amount blank because that's always gonna be custom based on what you're writing off as well as the description. I usually put the invoice number that I'm writing off in there just to leave a paper trail. So the next thing we'll do is go find a customer that has an invoice to write off. We go to our customer center. I'm just gonna select any customer here with an invoice. We'll go with the first, uh, let's go with these guys here. All right, this one has a, let's say this payment right here, $7,500 original invoice, um, invoice number seven, 5,500 due. So if we're gonna write that off, we're gonna create a credit memo for that customer. And we'll just do it with the data today. Item's gonna be bad debt that we just set up. And bad debt write off, invoice seven. For the description, 5,500. And now this is really important why we use credit memo is if it was originally taxed, you would select tax here. And if not, you would select non-taxable. That's why we like the credit memo for writing off bad debt because it allows you to adjust the tax liability, the sales tax liability due. The other alternative method that I'll show you doesn't. And this is why we prefer the credit memo. So if we save that, it's gonna give us a couple options here. Retain as a credit, we can offset it later, give a refund or apply to an invoice. So if we say apply to an invoice and select the one that we wanna apply, which is this one, invoice seven, and select done, you're all set. So that's the best way, the preferred way, because again, you can adjust the sales tax liability. Now let me show you one other one. Um, through receive payments, here's a $5,000 invoice. I don't like this as much, again, but it's an alternative method, is to use discounts. So if you go to receive payments for this particular customer, highlight the invoice in question that you're going to write off, hit discounts and credits, and what you'll do here is put an amount of the discount of $5,000 and write it off to bad debt. Again, that works best for people who don't charge sales taxes, but I really prefer using the credit memo method. I just think it's cleaner, it's a lot more traceable, um, and you can, again, adjust the sales tax liability due, which is the big thing. So again, just a quick video demonstration there on how to write off bad debt in QuickBooks. If you have questions on this or anything else QuickBooks or bookkeeping related, feel free to reach out. Have a good one.